that's not a cabinet with something from Poundland or some interesting Lego on it. I don't hear you ask, because if I could hear you ask, that'd be kind of weird and scary and possibly mean I need to see somebody. But yes, this is indeed not. It is my dining table with sneak Lego preview down there in my dining room of undecorated so I'm not showing, my echoey dining room. I do apologise. I want to use this for my video room and I really need to fix that echo. Meanwhile, I really need to fix this. Or if not fix it, throw the bloody thing away. This, this is just, it's a monster. It's a behemoth of, well actually, I was about to say what it was. Can you guess what it is? It might be, allegedly, a TV. And I'm not turning it around because it literally weighs more than Thor's hammer. And it's decided that tonight I am not worthy. Dear God, this thing is heavy. I think it weighs nearly as much as me. And I weigh more than I'd like to. Um, so having wrestled with it, in fact it weighs so much it broke itself under its own weight when I was wrestling to get the back off. Um, so I'm not going to spin it around just to go, oh look, it's a TV, because you know what a TV looks like. If you're watching this, you are watching it on a flat screen, which, you know, is probably smaller than a TV, or might even be a TV, but looks like a TV. My point is, you know what it looks like. You might not know what the inside looks like, and this one's a bit of an old one. In fact, I say a bit of an old one, I think it's about seven or eight years old, which shouldn't be old for a TV. CRT TVs are still going from 1903 or whenever they were first built, I don't know, all things, but they, they're still going. This isn't. In what way is this not, he said, having forgot to say, Mm, this is going to be one of my fixed or fucked videos. Welcome to fixed or fucked. Two minutes in. Oh, I've become American TV. Oh, we'll show you half the thing, and then we'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be one of those, and this is looking kind of big and clunky, and I don't understand why there's a board here and a board here. That's a power board. It's a bloody big power board. That weighs. When I I, I have taken it off to have a good look over it. I think it weighs about two kilos. Over a power board. It, modern TVs, like, you know, in the last couple of years, only weigh ten kilos in total for this size. A fifth of that's bloody power board. Anyway, back to the point. It has lots of things. It has other things. It has this thing. And this, I believe, to be the problem. And I plug the power in. And what happens when I plug the power in? We get a click. And then we get a click. There we go. Do you see? And this is why I'm not showing you the front of it. Because nothing happens apart from this. It just goes clicky, 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 clicky. Clicky, click. Actually, one time it did power up properly. But mostly it just goes clicky, 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 clicky. Clicky, clicky. It's got a good beat. Yep, and if I pull it, pull the power, the power is out. It will do this a few more times. There we go. You done? You done. <sighs> and lurking, because every goes every every time anything electronic goes wrong now they go, oh it's the capacitors. It's never the capacitors. Except in this instance, I do believe, I do hope, it is the capacitors. If we look, I could have just zoomed, couldn't I? Well, never mind. I have zoomed the old way. I have moved the camera closer. If we look, this one is a little bit domed. No, oh, he's touching capacitors on the very live thing! And um, yeah. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm doing it at home. But I'm an idiot. Um, and there's a little bit swollen. And there's a little bit swollen. And there's a little bit swollen. Yeah, um, all of these particular capacitors, a little bit swollen. All the others look absolutely fine. Um, but those, those ones kind of bulging. So this might indeed be the capacitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to replace the capacitors and then I'm going to put it back on and then I'm going to record the live explosion <laughs> I'm not going to test it first, I am going to do it sort of live on cam the live ceremonial, oh my god I've blown myself up and now everything's on fire of this attempted repair there is something very important to remember when dealing with capacitors, well, electrolytic capacitors and that is, they have a positive and a negative. A negative goes down this side, they are polarised. And negative goes down this side, the lead is normally shorter. Arigato. 
One lead longer, that's positive. Plus a bit, one lead shorter, that's minus a bit. And on the board, you might be able to see you have, it's always marked out in some way on this board, it is marked out by having a dark shaded half and then a light half. Guess which genius soldered in the least accessible capacitor while it's doing the others the wrong way round and then had to take it out and put it back in the other way. Well, these ones were already back in place. This idiot here. I'm going to blame the capacitor pixies. I'm sure it was the right way round when I put it in. But I double checked before I hooked everything up. So, panic not. Or maybe panic more because it's coming up for the moment of truth. Now, I should do the disclaimer. I already kind of did one. Don't do this. This is really stupid if you don't know what you're doing. And I'm really stupid. And I don't know what I'm doing. I looked for things. The things looked bad. They looked bad in the way that people said, well, that'll be why things don't work, because they look bad. And I thought, well, I've got a soldering iron and a lot of stupidity. I'm going to replace them. If you have, I mean, this this is big voltage and it gets bigger voltage and nasty voltage. You know, you could do yourself serious injury or someone else. Serious injury, obviously. Get your minds out there. Um, yeah, this this is not something you should do casually at about two o'clock in the morning after pouring yourself a rum. But you shouldn't do it because you are hopefully cleverer than me or have more concern for your personal well-being or have the ability to find the power cable. Right, do you remember, it's the moment of truth, what it was doing? We will look at this bit as well because I think something might explode. Bloody hell! Can you see? We're not getting click-click, we're getting one click. I'm going to ignore the fact there was a second click. Oh! Blink, blink. I do believe this is on, but as I am not an Asgardian, I'm not going to try to lift it to turn it round right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I consider this a success, bear in mind that as successes go, this is quite an old TV. It doesn't have a Freeview HD tuner. I'm not sure it's even got a Freeview tuner. So the tuner's probably absolutely bloody useless. It's, it's only a 720p screen. So yeah, I know that's technically a high definition, but it's a crap definition. It uses like a million watts as opposed to the, the modern LED things that, that could be run by an ant running in a wheel. It, it, it's power hungry. It, it weighs more than, than the average galaxy. Uh, it's, it breaks under its own weight. It's a... I'm not going to say it's a piece of crap, because I might try to put it on Gumtree for a tenner or something, which is what the capacitors cost to do it. Um, it's kind of a piece of crap, so... so this is not cause for major celebration. I will put a note in um, the uh, description for this video as to what the model number is, because I honestly cannot remember. It, it's an LG, oh my god, that's just ancient and crap, and even Noah would have considered it not even worthy of being an anchor, because all the animals in the world, never mind on the ark, not a real story, um, could have actually hauled it up from the seabed. It is so heavy. But I am, however, <laughs> With, with that disclaimer aside, I am going to consider this quite a success, and it's my first ever TV repair, so double success. Mm. Fixed or foxed? Fixed. 